Hey everyone, today is January 13th, and today's talk about what's coming up in the onsites for the next few weeks. So, before we start anything, this hasn't been announced by the time I'm recording this, but I'm pretty sure it's going to happen, and that's going to be the Izumi Limited Scout, which is Whisper of Spring. I'm pretty sure this scout is going to happen soon, because the scout needs to have a rerun before the actual limited event for this year, and that's going to come up pretty soon as well. But for this banner, we're going to get the 5 star Izumi. Izumi is a blue card of his main stat in Dance, and it supports skills to keep rate of all pieces. And since this card is a limited card, it will not have an SVP, but instead I'll showcase the costume a bit right here. And along with Izumi, we're going to get the 4 star Nazna and 3 stars Kaldu and Soma. And just for a heads up, I will probably not be here when everything gets announced and hopefully I will have the time and be in the correct environment for me to actually make videos and to have the videos out as fast as possible. So if the new New Year's event gets announced, then hopefully I will be able to get that video out as soon as possible. And if it's not, then my apologies. Okay, for events coming up, currently we are in Shinobu solo event. And then after this event, we're gonna get our next shuffle event, and that's gonna be Shuffle the Numbing Noir Niche. And this event's gonna have the five star Ritsu. Ritsu is a green card of his main stat in dance, and his support skills increase drop rate of large red pieces. And alongside Ritsu, we're gonna get the four star Mayui and four star Kohaku. And then after the shuffle event, next is going to be a really big event, which is going to be SS Arc Final Stage. This event is pretty big because there's a lot going on besides the fact that it's an event. It's a hybrid between a tour event and a song event. So there's a lot to talk about and I'm going to make another video on this. I'm going to release it pretty soon after this video, talking about how the event works and what to expect from the events because it's a lot. But for this event, we're going to get four five stars. From the feeding side, we're going to get the five star Aichi and five star Tori. Aichi is a blue card of his main stat in performance. And his support skills increase drop rate of large yellow pieces. And Tori is a yellow card of his main stat in dance, and his support skills increase drop rate of medium red pieces. And then on the Eden side, we're going to get the 5 star Nagisa and 5 star Hiyori. Nagisa is a yellow card of his main stat in performance, and his support skills increase drop rate of medium yellow pieces. And then Hiyori is a red card of his main stat in vocal, and his support skills increase drop rate of large blue pieces. And then on there, we get the 4 stars Watadu, Yuzudu, Iba, and June. And then for the SVPs for each card, they're going to be corresponding to the song for the tour event. So Feeding SVP will be for Feathers of Arc, and the Eden members will be for Deep Eclipse. And then since this event is a hybrid event, we're going to get more points for the event itself. And because of that, they're going to scale up the reward milestones a little bit up. So for the first milestone, it's going to be Aichi at 3.5 million points. And then next one will be for Nagisa at 4.2 million points. And then next is Tori at 4.8 million points. And then lastly, Hiyori at 5.5 million points. Okay, but that's it for events coming up. Let's talk about the scouts coming up. Okay, for future scouts coming up, currently we are in Yuzu's future scout. And then after Yuzu's future scout, we're going to have another two-week break because of JP and SSR final stage stuff. So instead, I'll talk about the next two feature scouts. So two weeks after Yuzu's feature scout, we're going to get Nikki's feature scout. That's going to have the five star Nikki. Nikki is a green card of his main stat in vocal, and his support skills increase drop rate of medium blue pieces. And Nikki's SVP will be for Crazy Roulette. And alongside Nikki, we can get the four star Tomoya, and Tomoya's SVP will be for Falling in Love is Wonderland, and we'll also get the three star Tsukasa. And then after Nikki's feature scout, we're gonna get Hinata's feature scout, and it's gonna have a five star Hinata. Hinata is a green card of his main stat in dance, and his support skills increase drop rate of large red pieces. And Hinata's SVP will be for Play Tag. And alongside Hinata, we're gonna get the four star Hido, and Hido's SVP will be for Artistic Partisan, and we'll also get the three star Yuta. Okay, that's it for the future scouts coming up. Let's talk about the event scouts coming up. So for event scouts, currently we are in the Hot Winter Banner. After the Hot Winter Banner, we're going to get the Lamort Banner. And that's going to have the 5 star Ray. Ray is a red card of his main stat in vocal. And his support skills increase drop rate of large blue pieces. And also Ray, we're going to get the 4 star Nagisa. Then after the Lamort Banner, we're going to get the Tiger of the 5th Earth Star Banner. And that's going to have the 5 star Leo. Leo is a blue card of his main stat in vocal. And his support skills increase drop rate of large blue pieces. And Leo's SVP will be for Voice of Sword. And also Leo, we're going to get the 4 star Natsume, and Natsume's SPP for Magic for your Switch. And we'll also get 3 stars Tetora and Adonis. Okay, that's it for event scouts coming up. Next, let's talk about the cards being added to the standard pool. So, for cards being added to the standard pool, after Yuzu's feature scout, since we're not going to have a feature scout during this period, we're going to get the Subaru feature scout cards added to the standard pool. And that's going to have the 5 star Subaru. Subaru is a green card of his main stat in dance, and his support skills increase drop rate of large red pieces. And his SPP will be for first thing along. And alongside Subaru, we're going to get the 4 star Kudo, and Kudo's SPP will be for Getka Musuo Kudai no Mai. And we'll also get 3 star Mika. And then once Lamort starts, we're gonna get the Matchless Warrior Scout cards added to the standard pool. And that's gonna have the 5 star Soma. Soma is a blue card of his main stat in performance. And his support skill is Combo Saver. 
I saw this PB for Gika Musuo Kudai no Mai, and also I summer get the 4 star Mao, and Mao's as PB for first sing along. And we'll also get 3 stars Subaru and Hido. And then once Nikki's feature scout starts, we're gonna get the Tetora feature scout cards added to the standard pool, and that's gonna have the 5 star Tetora. Tetora is a green card of his main stat in performance, and his support skills increase drop rate of large yellow pieces. And his SP will be for Meteor Scramble Ryu Setai. And alongside Tetoro, we're gonna get the 4 star Shinobu. And Shinobu's SP will be for Meteor Scramble Ryu Setai as well. And we'll also get 3 stars Samugi. And then finally, once Tiger of the 5th Earth Star Scout starts, we're gonna get the Battle of October Scout cards added to the standard pool. And that's gonna have a 5 star Yuta. Yuta is a green card of his main stat in Dance. And his support skills increase drop rate of all red pieces. And Yuta's SP will be for Trick with Treat. And alongside Yuta, we're gonna get the 4 star Adonis. And Adonis' SP will be for Valentine E's Nightmare. And we'll also get 3 stars Koaku and and Kaudu. Okay, and that's it for cards being added to the standard pool. Next, talk about the cards being added to the Memorial Coin Shop. Okay, for cards being added to the Memorial Coin Shop, once the Noir Needs Shuffle event starts, we're gonna get the Bronco Shuffle event cards added to the Memorial Coin Shop, and that's gonna have a 5 star Tori. Tori is a green card of his main stat in Vocal, and his support skills increase drop rate of large blue pieces. And alongside Tori, we can get the 4 star Sora. And then once SS Arc Final Stage starts, we're gonna get the Chiaki Soul event cards added to the Memorial Coin Shop, and that's gonna have a 5 star Chiaki. Chiaki is a blue card of his main stat that in dance, and his support skill is increased drop rate of large red pieces. And also, Chao can get the 4 star Kanata and 4 star Midori. And 3 stars Tetara and Shinobu. Okay, and that's it for the cards being added to the Moral Coin Shop. Let's talk about the songs being added to the game. The list of this can be different from what I'm saying, so I'm just telling you ahead of time to not be surprised if something else comes up. So after the current event, our next song that we're going to get is going to be Hajimai no Fantasia by Fine. And since the next event is a shuffle event, we'll be getting the shuffle song Noir Need sung by Lamort. And then after that event, our next song we're going to get is going to be Risky Venus sung by Crazy B. And then since the next event is a hybrid tour event and song event, we'll be getting two new songs from the event. First one's going to be Feathers of Arc sung by Fine. The second one's going to be Deep Eclipse sung by Eden. Okay, and that's it for the songs being added to the game. Let's talk about the birthdays coming up. So for birthdays coming up, we have to talk about the first one's actually today on January 13th, and that's for Tori. And then the next birthday after that is going to be on January 26th for Kudo. Okay, and that's it for everything coming up in the next few weeks. Some things to mention, like I mentioned earlier, is that we'll probably be getting a new limited, which which has or has not been announced by now, which I think it should be by now. And the fact that we're probably going to get the new limited events slash campaign going on for New Year's soon for our server, probably within like the next week or so, or at least get a teaser or something within the next week or so. And we're finally coming up to SS Arc Final Stage, which is a big milestone in the game because that's an end to one of the main stories in the game. And the event itself just has a lot happening during the event from just not the event itself, but also you get lots of like pools and you get lots of resources and lots of goodies in general from the event. So even if you don't finish it all the way, I highly recommend you at least try to do your best because you can get a lot of good stuff from it. And honestly, after all of this ends, we're going to finally get our new bombardment of lots of new songs and lots of fan favorites. So I'm really, really excited for all the songs coming up after SSR Final Stage. One more thing to note is that I will be on vacation by now. Well, sort of by now. And the videos I'll have up will be recorded like before, way before probably when I release them. So some stuff may be weird or just stuff, yeah. So my apologies for that. But hopefully I can also get some more videos out while I'm on vacation as well. But anyways, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to put it down below. If you like the video, feel free to like the video. And if you like the content of the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel. But hopefully if you're going for anything, good luck with that. You get everything that you want. But with that, I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you all next time. So peace.